And how do we pay for these imports? Dollars. Pounds. Rands. Well, you can't pay with rands. It has to be dollars. What's wrong with our rand? She said pounds. Unfortunately, we can't pay for oil imports with rand. Why is that? It's an interesting question with a lot of history behind it. Let's have a closer look. Let's imagine I want to sell my car. I've placed an advert and I've had a response from a Mr Zaffi who says he's interested. There's the car. Right, here we go. Nissan Micra, pretty straightforward. And good nick, plenty of tread on the tyre. What's this? This isn't Rand. No, it's not, but it's... it's Ari Ari. Now, Mr Zaffi's from Madagascar. He likes the car, but he wants to pay me in Madagascan money. Something called the Ari Ari. Now, I can't use this money locally to pay for goods and services. And do I really want the trouble of changing it in the bank and paying bank charges? Not to mention the fact that I've no idea what an Ari Ari is worth today. And I've no idea what it'll be worth tomorrow either. It's just too messy and complicated. So unfortunately for Mr Zaffi, I don't want to be paid in Ari Ari. And it's no different when we're buying oil from companies in Saudi Arabia, Nigeria or Iraq. They're not prepared to accept South African money in payment for their exports of oil. Instead, for the most part, we have to pay them in this, the US dollar. So why is this? Why will they accept the US dollar and not the rand? The US dollar is one of the few foreign currencies that is internationally accepted. This is mainly because people have confidence in that currency to keep its value. The companies that sell their products overseas then change the US dollars to their own currency through their banking system. Another currency that is accepted as payment for imports is the Euro. Again, this is because exporters have confidence in the Euro to maintain its value. The euro maintains its stability because its value is determined by the average performance of many stable economies throughout the European Union. If one of the countries experiences economic problems, the adverse effects of this individual downturn are absorbed by the stability of all the other European members, minimising fluctuations in the value of the euro. So, to answer the question we posed earlier, we have to pay for our imports with an internationally accepted foreign currency, such as the US dollar or the euro. 